Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys an updated version of my nail desk. So I already had shared with you guys a nail desk tour before, but I did change my table and I bought new drawers and I also bought some new organizers. So I hope you guys like this and enjoy this video. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through that. If you guys are interested in watching my last video, I'm going to leave it somewhere up here. I will also share with you guys the video of me updating my desk. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, friends, so I'm going to start here with this setup that's right here. This is what's on my table, and these are the things that I use for every set of nails. So I did get asked a lot in my other video about my e and the stand. So my e is by iGel Beauty, as you guys can see. And I purchased my e and this base came with it. So I absolutely love it. It has this end right here where I can add um, or just put my e like my bits. Also on this end, you guys can see I have them there too. So for now, I'm just using this end to put my hand piece. So I just keep it there when I'm done. But when I'm going to use it, I'll just go ahead and take it out. And I absolutely enjoy using this. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested, you can go ahead and check them out. I'm not sure if this base is sold separately. But again, I did buy it. Um, I did purchase my e and this base came with it. So that's pretty much it, as you guys can see. So keep my dehydrator, my super, my super bond, um, dust brushes. I keep my top coats, um, some glues, foil glue, and some cuticle oil. As well as right here, I have another cuticle oil. In this organizer right here, I keep my brushes. So these are the brushes that I will use with any set. I also have like one of these box cutters and some scissors up here because when I'm unboxing anything, I'll just have that there. And then this is the control to my ring light and then just some extra things that I would use as well like this. Um, this is one of those wax pickers for like my jewels or my gems. And then I have a pen because I'm constantly taking notes and things like that. And then just a couple more things that I will use. I also have this beautiful message by one of my best friends that went to school with me in cosmetology so thank you so much Lillian I absolutely love this I read it every day and this just inspires me so much so I keep it here so that my clients can also read it too and get inspired as well I also keep this dish here that was gifted to me by my friend as well the same one that gave me this one and it just says a beautiful message it says she believed she could, so she did. So yeah, that is that. And then I also keep a couple extra bits here that does not fit back here, but I have them there. And I also keep this French cutter there as well. Also keep some forms here, and I also have extra bits. In this case, where the bits are in, it's from Melody Susie. And I have bought this on Amazon with a ton of their bits, which are actually which are absolutely good. So yeah, I actually recommend these and then I just keep them there so they are not getting contaminated. But yeah, that's pretty much it. My organizers are from like Burlington and Target. So usually that's where I will purchase these. These are separate, but I keep them there because it's most convenient for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my first drawer. But before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know that this empty space here is where I wanna put another LED uh, Kiara Sky lamp. I have not purchased it yet, but yes, there's one on one side and I will be adding one in this one. So let's start with our first drawer. And um, again, if you guys are interested in knowing where I got my drawers and things like that, I have another video already on that. So I'll go ahead and share that with you guys. But pretty much what I have in here is just like different dabbing dishes that I just don't want to get rid of, honestly. Like this one I got from Dollar Tree. This one I have purchased uh, by Legacy Nails. I bought this at a local um, discount store. And then this is just one of those jars where you get the Garnier, Garnier gel, I believe. It's like a facial gel for moisturizing. I just saved it because I absolutely loved it. And I started to create this uh, 3D floral design on it. So I absolutely love it. And it's nice and big. I like to use these like if I'm going to go take a class or something like that. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Back here, I have some more of these small dapping dishes, as you guys can see. It doesn't really go that far back. So I have some cuticle clippers here. This one I use to remove gems and things like that. Then a tip cutter. And then I have some more of these nail clippers in here. I also keep a straight edge nail clipper in here and this is just if I'm going to cut the square tips into like a coffin or something like that this is what I would use and then I have extra bits of course and things like that and this is what I have in this drawer. I also have the sanding bands and these are just from like coarse, medium and fine so I keep these in here and also they have their lids so they do not get contaminated. And then again, these organizers are from my Target, Burlington. This one specifically is from Dollar Tree. So if you guys come across these from Dollar Tree, are absolutely, these are absolutely amazing to keep like your fine, your coarse, and your medium. Now usually we don't use the other ones to be honest, but sometimes you purchase certain things and they come with them already. So I just go ahead and, and accumulate them in here just in case if I needed them. For anything else, that's just pretty much it. So this is my second drawer. As you guys can see, this drawer is just full of tips. I also keep this box that I use to keep my foils with its uh, cotton already on it. And I absolutely love these. I use these all the time to soak off. Always recommend these. If you guys are interested in a removal kind of video, let me know and I'll show you guys how I use these. But these are my absolute favorite. And then, yeah, I just keep my favorite tips in here, like the ones from Macar. I have Yvette's nails in there. I have Legacy nails and some that I have purchased from Amazon. Now, these things right here, if you guys are curious, they're just these um, tools that I got from Lowe's. And you guys can grab these in a two-pack. They're about six bucks, I believe. So this is pretty much just what I would use to pinch a nail. I've seen it used by other nail techs before. Honestly, I have not used it on a client yet, but I have been practicing and I use this more when I'm like using, let's say, forms and things like that. So if I'm doing a set with forms, this is what I would use to pinch. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested, you can find these at Lowe's. All right, so for my third drawer, as you guys can see, this is where I keep my ready one a hand. I have an extra practice hand. I have been using this for so long, so I ended up buying me a new one actually. Uh, this one is here just to give it away to a friend of mine that's into nails now. So I'm gonna be giving this one to her. I did have the fingers separate from it because I used to use it that way, but I did put it together just in case she wanted to use it this way. Um, I also have like these replacements, no, like nail replacements and things like that for my new hand. And then I just keep a couple things in here, like these forms. If I'm gonna practice, I have extra tips for my ready guana hand. I have double face tape and things like that in here. If I'm gonna use my little displays and things like that, if I'm gonna create a video or anything like that, that's this is what I would use. I also keep my trash bags here because as you guys can see, right here in this end, you can see my trash can right there. So this is where I keep my trash can right next to me. All right, so now for this drawer, I just have some displays in here and some swatch sticks there. I have these display uh, nails and things like that. I also have these, um, I don't even know what you guys call these, but yeah, you guys pretty much know what it is. So these, these nail displays, I just keep them in there. And um, yeah, I pretty much use these when I'm gonna swatch a new collection or new things that I will get, or just to practice anything, that's what I would use. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My organizers are from Dollar Tree. So yeah, that's pretty much this drawer. Okay, so for this drawer, I just keep photo props and I get my photo props from Michaels. And I'm not pretty sure what you guys call these, but they're basically just these books, as you guys can see. They're by the brand, the brand Recollections. And um, it's just a book that has these black papers and it comes with a ton of designs in it. I absolutely love these. They just come in different um, designs and colors and things like that. So this is just pretty much what it is. And I buy these books and then I just keep them there for my backgrounds. So that's pretty much it. All right guys, so now we're on the other side of my table. And in the first drawer, I have my dental bibs here, which is what I use 
uh, to clean my brush and things like that. I also keep some extra uh, sanding bands here in the, in the medium grip. And then here I just have these files and buffers set up already with a sanding band, as you guys can see. And what I usually do is I just go ahead and I put my client's name on here because if I can reuse them on the same client, I will do that and I keep track of whose is whose by putting their name on here. That's pretty much it. I just keep these nice and packed like this. And then again, I have another of another one of these organizers from Dollar Tree. And this is just what I have in that drawer. All right, guys. So for this drawer, I keep some extra things like some files and some buffers to refill or restock this area up here. And then I have more of these. Uh, I don't know what you guys really call these. These are what? uh sterilization uh, pouches so this is what i keep this is where i keep them and yeah that's pretty much it i keep them in there i wish i could have a container where i can put them with the lid on but i mean it's it's face down so it should be fine and then i also keep some gloves in here with um a sealed lid so these are just new and ready to go if i'm going to use them with a client i have some extra space here of course and then here I keep these just in case I don't wanna use the gloves, I'll just go ahead and put these on my fingers. And then uh, this organizer right here, I did end up messing it up with acetone, so I just keep it in this drawer with this for now. But I did want it this purposely for my lint-free wipes and to keep it on my table. But unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to buy another one. Uh, but they're about a dollar. I think I paid a dollar for this at um, Michael's. So you guys can find this in that like dollar area where like you're about to check out. That's where I found that one at. And then this organizer is from Home Goods. So that's that. All right. So in this drawer, as you guys can see, it's pretty empty, but I'm keeping space here to restock on other things that I need for like my restocking stuff. So for now, I'm just going to keep this empty. And I wanted to tell you guys, I have been telling you guys that these organizers right here, I set it in a... I said it before that I had got them from Dollar Tree and I just remembered that I did not buy these at Dollar Tree. I actually found these at the container store. So I'm so sorry for that, guys. I just remembered, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But anyways, I'm just letting you guys know now that. And then these are the refills for my soak off uh, little box over there. So I just keep these over here. When I'm done with the, when I'm done with the other ones, I'll just restock with these. That's what I have in there. And then I have some of these little jars for like sample cuticle oil and things like that. So that's just pretty much that. And then underneath this right here, just to share with you guys really quick. This came in my cosmetology school kit with my nail stuff. And it was just for like the acrylic and things like that that they had gave us at the time. So yeah, it's pretty much a card just giving you a step-by-step -step all the liquid to powder ratio and things like that. But I just keep them in here because they're cute, they're laminated. And if I'm gonna give a class, I don't know, maybe someone would need it and I'll go ahead and share that with them. But that's pretty much what's in here. All right, so in this drawer, I do have some organizers and these organizers are from Dollar Tree. I just keep three of those in there just in case I wanna reorganize or do anything else. That's what's in there. And then I have some more space, of course. And then this right here is just where I would transport my brushes if I'm gonna go take a class. But for now, I just have these things in here, which I found at Dollar Tree, and I thought was pretty cool to play around like and do design uh, to cut the acrylic and things like that. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah, that's pretty much why I got these in here. Because they have a blade on them, I just keep them in here to be safe. I usually use this when I'm going to go to a class. So this is really cool. I want to share with you guys really quick. This I have purchased on an online store from one of like my colleagues. Um, so as you guys can see, I can always pull this down and push this little button back so it could hold my brushes like this on the table, as you guys can see. So that's why I like this. So if, like if you guys are going to take a class or something like that, you guys can find something like this and it'll help you just keep your brushes organized and then when you're ready to go just go ahead and pull it back together and then you'll close it and you'll keep your brushes nice and safe now in this last drawer over here what i have is just a ton of mixed brands of acrylics that i would normally use on like any set basically 
but because I don't really have like a full collection of them, I just keep them in there. So it's pretty much mixed match acrylics. So I have Glam and Glitz, I have Kiara Sky, I have Pasiones, I have some that I buy from my colleagues or that they have given to me, like Lima Nails. She had gave me a nice collection. Lumi Nails had gave me some as well. And Noonie Nails, uh, which are the ones that are right back there, that's his nude collection, which is awesome. I also have the Glam Factor, the Glam Factor, and those are pretty good as well. So yeah, and then some mixes in the back that I had created before for a client that wanted something a little bit different. I went ahead and I created some of those and I just keep them in this drawer so that it's easy access. So for this drawer, as you guys can see, I have all my legacy nail collection and it's just pretty much from like their pastels to the nudes to like their fall colors and then so on. And then from here, all the way over here is just their glitter collections. So they did come out with new collections. I do not own them yet, but yeah, this is pretty much what's in here. And then that one back there is from Melody Nail System. So that's pretty much it. And because they're all the same size, I just keep them in this drawer. Now, really quick, I wanted to share with you guys up here. I have this. These are to wash, these implements. Um, I also have these flowers that were here from last Sunday. I will be getting rid of them because as you guys can see, I have to change out the water. I keep some extra glasses and then this is my prayer box. I also have some cotton up there and I absolutely love that container. It just looks so cute. And in here, I have all of my Melody Nail System collection. Well, at least the ones that I own are in here and I absolutely love these. Super convenient for me to just grab from where I'm sitting and then just pick them from here. I also have some of her covers. As you guys can see, they're pretty huge. So I absolutely enjoy them. You guys should check out her website. It is MelodyNailSystem.com. So go ahead and check her out. These right here are just some nice, cute uh, jars. And I did get asked before, where did I buy these? Uh, these I just had ordered from a company that actually creates these jars. I thought they were so beautiful. Um, at one point, I just wanted to create my own brand of acrylics. But unfortunately, I feel like it, it isn't that time yet. So yeah, this is just what I had in mind as for the jars. And these were the samples that I had ordered. But that's, bas that's basically that. And then back there, I have all of my covers by Legacy Nails. And it does go all the way back. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I have one of Jacqueline Acosta's uh, covers in there as well. And the drawer I purchased, this drawer is from Ikea. And this is like one of the big ass drawers. Um, in here, as you guys can see, I keep these jars and I buy these from Dollar Tree. They come in a four pack. And I just keep these things in here like glitters and sugars and Fimos and all that good stuff. I keep them in here because I feel like I can see them uh, much better. They do go all the way back as well, as you guys can see. And then I have a ton of dried flowers and then I rotate these things in here. So like I keep my summer designs and things like that that I know or whatever's like in style at the time. I'll go ahead and push those to the front of the drawer and then in the back I have stuff that has been, you know, like on trend and things like that. But then it kind of like dies down. So I just throw those in the back of the drawer. So that's pretty much that. And then I have a whole bunch of like those water, uh, what is it, water stickers or decals or whatever and stickers and things like that and then i have some stamping stuff back there all right so in this drawer i keep all of my holographic powders or um i'm not sure how you guys call these but yeah that's pretty much that and i keep all of these little jars with like extra glitters and things like that these are like these confettis i bought these in a collection they're by born pretty i have a ton of these in there and i just like the way they all look together I also have some of these flakes and then these are from Legacy Nails, some foil and these uh, like strings and ribbon and things like that. These I had got from Dollar Tree and then those back there I had ordered from a friend of mine. I had some washi tape and I also have some pigments back there. And I keep these applicators that I got from Dollar Tree there so that whenever I'm going to use these like holographic um 
or chrome powders. This is what they are, chrome powders. Uh, that's what I would use to apply them. And then this organizer right there, this is from Dollar Tree, um, like the same one that I used for my sanding bands. That's just that, and it has a lid. And I did get asked in my other video, why do I have ribbon in here? You guys can encapsulate the ribbon, and I absolutely love the effect that it gives the nails. Maybe I should do like a tutorial for you guys, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. And whenever I get, um, you know, a client that's asking for something different, I will go ahead and do something with that app. I have also encapsulated these and then they're absolutely beautiful. And again, I found these at Dollar Tree. So for this drawer right here, um, these do not go in here. This is just the Femi Beauty uh, gel collection that I have got recently. And I was watching these um, for a video. So as you guys can see, they're right there. This drawer, I want to fill up with the Valentino pigments and glitters. So because she is lonely, I just have this in there for now because, again, I was watching them. So yeah, those don't go there. And then for this drawer, I have all of my gems and things like that. And I usually like to rotate these containers because I have them all sectioned out. Like these are like more summer and uh, spring decorations. So once this season passes, I will bring up like the fall and then I'll go ahead into the winter and all that stuff like Christmas and Valentine's and so on and so forth. So these containers that I got here, these are from at homes and they come in a pack of three. So as you guys can see, I have a whole bunch back here. They go all the way back, of course, and all the way down. And then these also. So this is what I have in here. And then I also keep some builder gel, spider gel. I uh, have an extra wax pencil with a sharpener. And then I keep some crystal gel and gel glue in here as well. And then this drawer, as you guys can see, this is just my foil drawer. Um, I have some from McCart, and then these are like from my store. These are from Melody Nail System. These I got from her, and they're absolutely bougie and beautiful. Look at that. So, and then I have another one back there. So those are the those are that, and then these back here, as you guys can see, I just put them in here by I don't know, like flowery, and then I put like those, and then these and then back there is all full of flowers and stuff like that but these organizers i got these from walmart so they're about 2.99 super cheap and affordable and easy and i like the way they look in here i can actually fit another one so i might be stocking up on some foil and yeah that's pretty much it that's what i keep in here in this drawer i keep all of my gels as you guys can see it's just a mixture of brands honestly that's why i don't put them on the wall Cause I honestly don't even really use them, but yeah, sometimes we do paint and do some type of like designs. So that's why I have them in here. And then all the way back there, as you guys can see, I have a lot of paint. So if I'm going to create like a design or anything like that, if I want to just paint, that's what I have there. And then, um, I also have these paint palettes back there and I also keep these inks in there too. So I have all my inks in this section right there. And then for the last drawer, I keep all of my uh, chargers and cables and things like that. I also have a backup e-file, an extension cord. I have an extra bulb back there. And then in here, I just keep some like screwdrivers and things like that and wheels. So like extra, extra things that comes with like when buying stuff like the chairs, my drawers and all those things like the rolly cart and things like that. So I just throw that stuff in there and I have them all like sorted out by Ziploc. So that's why I'm not going to open it. But that's pretty much it. And then I also have an extra filter for my McCart's, um, what is it? The dust collector. So that's pretty much what's in here. So for last, as you guys can see, I have my little rolling cart. And this car I keep in this corner, but I usually bring it out to here while I'm sitting down. Like I'll just pull it over there. And right here, I just keep essential things or like the essential stuff. So I do have this right here that I also use on every set now. Um, I have put it away for a while, but I'm using it again. And it's just two dabbing dishes. And then I keep my clear powder in there. And I'm actually using the Valentino one. So yeah. I just keep it there. All I gotta do is take it out, use it, and then I'll go ahead and put it back and make sure it's clean, obviously. I keep all of my monomers, acetones, and things like that. 
alcohol. I have more top coats, more cuticle oil, more um, nail glue. And then I keep this tape here as well. Uh, if I'm gonna wreck my nails, like if I have my nails and things like that, I'll go ahead and wreck my fingers. The, this right here is just where I'm keeping my lint-free wipes. And these organizers are from Home Goods. So yeah, that's pretty much that. And then I have a whole bunch of like nail brushes to do like art and things like that. Another dust brush. Just a few things that I would probably need. I'll just go ahead and have it there. And then also lotion because when I'm doing my videos, y'all, this is my trick right here. If you guys have a YouTube channel or you guys like to do little videos and stuff, I always go ahead and put some lotion on my hands because they be looking crusty. I don't know. I wash a lot of dishes too, but it doesn't matter. Put some lotion on if you're going to make some videos, okay? All right, so I keep some um, paper towels here, and then this is from Dollar Tree as well. I just have it hanging there for now, and then I have a whole bunch of junk here. Now, um, honestly, this is just some nail polish from Dollar Tree that I wanted to create a video with that I will be doing probably, I don't know when, but yeah. That's just to create a video. I keep some Lysol spray there. This is here for now, but this does not go there. Um, I do keep this right there because this is... Let me show you guys real quick. You guys go to Michael's. This is something you might want to pick up. So this is by the Rick Collections. Um, basically what I use this for, if I'm going to use Pixies or anything like that, I'll go ahead and I'll do, or, or anything, I'll just do it above here. And then it has this right here. You just pull that plug and you're able to just throw it back in the jar so that you don't miss out on materials. But yeah, that's pretty much that. It's really used for like glitters, um, honestly. But yeah, I think it's good for Pixies. And then I have my Archon mount ring light light here. This is just one of those small ring lights I can put on my phone. I have some extra lenses there for my camera if I'm recording. Just my hand brace and some stuff that has to go in the closet or in there. Uh, because you guys know I'm still... I haven't done finished my room. So when I'm done doing the closet and things like that, I'll go ahead and share that room tour with you guys. But that's pretty much it. This was a photo prop. That I no longer use, but I just keep it there because I cover that mess with it. And, you know, I'm just being real. But, um, and then just, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just keep it down there. I have some miscellaneous stuff down here. So it's just more cuticle oil, a stamper. I keep this down here for now because I haven't bought any uh, refills. But this is from Bath and Body Works. And that's just like, you know, those oil scented things. So that's for that. And I want to keep that in this room because look how cute it is. So yeah, I have to buy some refills and then just this manicure bowl. I have that heater there. So this is like when the winter comes around, that's what I would take out to keep my room or just my area nice and warm and then some pedicure stuff. So that's just what's in what's in there. And I'm just gonna throw this right back on there. All right, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are here new to my channel. I post new videos every week. So don't miss out on that. Go ahead and ding that notification button. And if you guys want to put in any requests on any other videos, go ahead and comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.